all right guys so thanks for watching this diagnostic world video um, the mercedes-benz that we're in right now it's a w204 so it's a mercedes-benz c-class from 2007 to 2014 uh, now the guide is going to be suitable for um, the coupe the saloon and the estate version um, so it'll, the it'll work on all three um, but as you can see here we have the um, the ABS and ESP the run flat indicator inoperative we have the traction control light on there and we also have the ABS light on there don't worry about the glow plug that's another issue completely um, and don't worry about the handbrake light that's just because we've got the handbrake on um, so yeah so I mean we've got the uh, these lights on now generally when you get these lights on it generally indicates that you will have a, a fault with one of your ABS sensors um, so the the sensor which uh, sends information from the wheel to the ABS ECU uh, with regards to sort of speeds then it sounds like this sensor has actually gone faulty or gone bad and it's it, it happens on a lot of Mercedes uh, a lot of BMWs and other cars as well so it's it's nothing really uh, serious I certainly wouldn't worry about it but we will need to diagnose the fault correctly um, so to do that we're going to use the iCarsoft i980 kit okay so this is the i980 kit uh, it's specifically for Mercedes, Ms. Benz, Smart Vehicles and uh, Sprinter Vehicles and it is available at Diagnostic World which is www.diagnostic-world.com and what we're going to do is we're going to diagnose the fault so if you follow with me we're going to go to Diagnose, it's a Benz and we're going to select our vehicle we need to scroll down to 204 C-Class then we go to the diesel engine, right hand steering and select our vehicle which is a C220 CDI, this one here and we'll manually select our system and we're going to scroll down to ABR which is adaptive brake and then we'll read fault memory so this is going to tell us what the, uh, the lights are on for so we've got 5130 and it's L6-4 rear right axle RPM sensor that's one of two implausible values from RPM sensor rear axle so that's basically telling us the there is a fault with the ABS sensor and it's on the rear right as you're actually sitting in the vehicle so it looks like we need to change over that rear right ABS sensor um, and we'll go ahead and do that now Alright guys, so this is the ABS sensor which you're going to need to buy. Now you can pick this up from Dominator Auto Diagnostics. That's www.bavariandominator.co.uk And we'll just pull this out here. So as you can see it's got the red plug. And that's the ABS sensor which goes into the hub. And it's just one screw which holds it in place. So that's what you'll need to pick up. Um, this obviously is the uh, the rear ABS sensor that we're buying. That's the part number right there. Um, if by any chance you were to get the front ABS sensor on your diagnostic check, um, well they also do the front ABS sensors as well. So that's the website you need to go to. But this is the sensor.
Okay, so we're back in the vehicle now. The new ABS sensor has been installed. Um, you can see we've still got the warning lights on the dashboard though. We've still got the traction light, the run flat, the ABS and ESP, and the ABS light right there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're now going to erase the trouble codes with the iCarsoft i980. Uh, so we'll go back into the same options as we went to before. Just by simply selecting our vehicle. What we'll do is we'll just clear fault memory straight away and hopefully we should see an end to the ABS lights on the dashboard so when I click OK here just keep one eye on the ABS lights on the, uh, the dashboard there. Clear trouble code successfully and then we'll come out of this and the lights should turn off and they have done. There we go so all of the lights have now disappeared from the dashboard and we've successfully changed over the ABS sensor and reset the trouble codes and warning lights in this Mercedes-Benz C-Class using the iCarsoft i980. Uh, now the i980, as I say, is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Thanks for watching this video. I'll post the links directly below the video to the ABS sensor where you can pick that up and also the diagnostic kit, the i980 kit, where you can pick that up uh, to diagnose any faults. It's not just faults in the ABS system, you can also diagnose faults in any other system like your, your parking sensors, your engine, your glow plugs, your airbags, transmission, uh, you name it. It's an excellent little kit, this. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.